portion or this portion of the video is brought to you by puretree.ru puretree.ru i have worked with them before and received bag i actually got my gucci bag from them and my gucci bag was black and brown if you guys remember that one and i got it around the fall for some reason i like getting fall bags from them because the quality of their bags are really good even they summer they summer and spring bag but they fall just the color of them i like and i'm a fall girl i'm not really a spring and summer girl i'm a fall girl usually i don't post All right, we're going to go ahead on and get into this video. You guys seen the unboxing, so I'm not going to keep y'all. Y'all seen this bag. I have been wanting to get my hands on this one, especially in this color for a while. And this one is the Christian Dior Autumn and Winter Dior Lady Bag. Um, just because it's fall and winter. And, you know, they got the Dior letters on. So your little Dior keychain. And you also get your little bag, which I'm going to bring this with me today because it's matching what I'm wearing. And I got to go run to Goodwill for my mama. So I will have all my little coins and stuff in here. And then what I like about this bag that you can tie it um, or close it up two different ways. I love the little D one here and it um, connects to your C. So it opens up. You just hold it open. And then... You got your C right here. So for your Christian Dior, and you just snap it in and you close it. And it will close your little bag shut so where people can't just be putting their hands in there. And then you also have your little flap with your little two key, your two little um grooves. So all you do is just lock it in, just like you would do. And you can do it different ways. It gives you that option. If you want to flap it and close it this way so you won't have it hanging out, you can do that. And then it has your little right here so you can lock it in. I just like this little bag, y'all. It is so cute. And like I said, it's very simple. But it will definitely, you know, hold just what you need it to hold. It doesn't supposed to be like a big old handbag, so you put everything in here. But it'll hold just what it needs to hold. And I just love the color on it. I love the Dior engravings and stuff that's on it. Just the design of the bag. It's cute and it's simple. Just for holding in your hand as a clutch and going about your business. So I really do like this bag, and like I said, I will be wearing it with what I'm wearing. I will be using it today, and I just have on all black. I have on my all black with my plaid top, and I'll just be rocking with this, and I do have some brownish color boots, this color that I'll be wearing with it, and it's just cute, just cute and simple outfit. If you are looking to get your hands on this bag or any other bag that they have, I will leave all of their information in the description box. If you guys are interested in getting anything off their website, you guys, please go check them out. It is puretree.ru. 
www.ghostbusters.ru. All of their links will be in the description box along with my discount code that I have for you guys. Everything will be pinned in the comment section as well. So you will not have to search for it. So I'm going to take me some pictures while I'm out so y'all can see me with this bag. And I'm going to insert them in today's video because like I said, I will be going to Goodwill for my mama. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. And another thing that I like, let me see, where is it? That if you are going to store your bag in your box, it gives you like your little sachet. And I call this a sachet case, but it's just like your little tie or your little case. And all you do is store them right back in here and you just tie it. And it just protects. See. And it'll just protect your little keys. I like that. This is the first time that I have ever seen this on a bag. And I like it because it'll protect your keys when you are, like I said, putting up your bag for the season. Sit down. And then I also like that they have a white gift box. I think this is the second white gift box that I've ever received and I like it because if you do decide to give a gift and it doesn't even have to be a purse even if you get some clothes or whatever you can always store in these little bags and especially for Christmas because Christmas time coming up you can put a lot of different things in here even if you just go to the shop and get like a key ring and you know get you like some scarves and stuff that will match you can do that so so you guys will definitely be seeing me with this bag so we're gonna go ahead on and jump into the rest of this video so i will see you guys later thank you for pure tree for working with me and sending me over this cute little bag you like this bag yes, that's yeah. cute huh? yep and i will see you guys later all right family what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel how y'all doing i am sitting outside it feels so good mama say it's cold of course it's cold to mama all the time but i'm sitting out here i just have on this cute little printed tee. Y'all done seen me in this tee before. Strong women raise strong children. And I just have on my plaid. It's a thermal. Actually, this is Philip. Because I buy him men jackets and larges. So, this is his. And I just got a pair. Hold on. I need a better. And this is paired with my gray jogging pants. And my black. What are these? Whoever this brand is. I don't know. I think they sketches with my black sketcher hot tops. That's it. And of course, my hair is braided and I just threw my hat on today. But I'm just sitting here waiting on Riri to get back. She wanted to put air in the tire. She got to get another tire. And she says she's going to get it um, Friday or however. But so I'm just waiting on her to get back so I can go because I am going to Goodwill. Y'all remember in the previous clip when y'all seen I was sharing my purse. I still got my purse. But I ended up not going that day. So I'm going today. And I'm going by myself just to kind of, I don't know, refocus, recoup. <laughs> um, just have some me time, some alone time. You know, it, it's, it's necessary. It's very necessary. Um, and I'm not doing any shopping or nothing. I'm just going to Goodwill just to take my time, look around, look through stuff. Um, like I said, just more of not of buying anything. But just getting out and clearing my head. Um, you guys seen my previous video. And I thank you guys so much for praying for me. And like I said, I'm feeling good. It's just, I still have pain. I'm okay. But I still have pain. I'm still drinking water, the cranberry juice. Um, and like I said, I had seen my doctor. And they okayed me to drink tea and lemonade, a bunch of water and everything. Just to flush it. Um, I'm still on all my medicines. And it starts to hurt me more in the evening time and overnight. And in the early part of the morning, and then I'm okay. And so, but like I said, I'm doing good, y'all. And today is just a day for me. Like I said, just retail therapy of just, well, getting out and just having some alone, quiet time. Just my thoughts with God. I can, you know, hear him. <laughs> and I was in my tub, and I was soaking it and just enjoying my morning. You guys, I tell y'all all the time, so I don't want to be redundant, but y'all know what I do in the morning. And for everybody who is new, welcome you guys on what's going on. Make sure you comment. Let me know that you knew. Like the video and subscribe if you're interested. Um, I'm so behind in my comments, y'all, but I promise I'm getting it together. I've just been busy. It's kind of like either put up content 
or respond to comments. And I know I go and I give you guys hearts. I read them. It's just hard for me to be com commenting back because I am running three different YouTube channels. One of them is strictly um, like why I do reels and Amazon reviews and stuff like that. But, you know, the other one is grocery hauls. And then this one over here is the family. So I'm running three YouTube channels plus trying to care for mom, make sure, you know, doing my duties and stuff as a homemaker, a wife. And it's just a lot. I have days that I get in the bed, and it's like 6, 7 o'clock, and I am tired. And I just sit there, relax, write in my journal, talk to God, and that's it. Like, I'm not going to stress myself about And not that y'all not important to me, because of course y'all are. That's why I'm vlogging. <laughs> um, because I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because I truly enjoy it. And you have to enjoy what you do, or it's going to feel like a job. Yes, I get paid to do it. But that's not my reason for doing it, because I've been doing this since 2015, um, and I never stopped. I may have took a break, like two, three weeks, but that was it. But I have never stopped doing YouTube since 2015. And then I got my other channel in 2019, I want to say. And like I said, I've been just running both. I do all the edits, I upload, I do everything. Um, I run the entire thing. I don't have anybody helping me. So, it's days, like I said, that it just got to get hard and I get behind. But I'm always going to give you guys content. I'm always going to read you guys um, messages and stuff. And I love y'all. I really do. I thank y'all for y'all prayers. And like I said, your girl is okay. I'm taking care of myself. I'm putting me first. Well, I'm putting God first and I'm keeping me um, in alignment with him. My faith is so... <laughs> Whew, yeah, I have unbelievable faith right now. Even in the midst of stuff that I have going on when I'm hurting, when I'm sad, when it's days that I just feels like I feel like I can't go anymore. And it's like stuff get overwhelmed with mama being sick and then I feel like I'm not doing enough for her. All of that. When I get like that, I stop well God stopped me. And then he rewinds me back and show me the grace that he has already given me and the power he's already given me. And the endurance and I see he already has shown me that I'm going to win. He already showed me so much in my future and things that I just have to continue walking in him and how it's going to be okay. And everything that I'm dealing with and going through, is just another part of my testimony and I'm coming out of it. And a lot of you guys don't even know, I did start back on my chemo medicine about two weeks ago and I have rough days with that medicine to where I hurt. But God is still pushing me through, and I'm alive to be on it. So as long as I am on this side of heaven and I can get up and move, even the days that it's hard for me to move, it's still my testimony because I'm here and I'm breathing. And God has given me another chance to do it again. He's given me another chance to get it right and another chance for my purpose. So I promise y'all I'm good. Um, and at first, <laughs> when I had found out about this kidney stone, I was I told y'all I told you guys I had to get rushed to the hospital. And um, it was like, wow, I'm talking about that pain. I told you guys, it's worse than childbirth. And I didn't have epidurals for my kids. So it was so crazy because it took, they gave me Demerol, it didn't work. They gave me morphine and they had to give it to me twice because it just did not do anything the first time because of my tolerance for medication and stuff. And they know that because they see my charts, they know what I'm on. And it, it took like maybe... 30 minutes or so for it to finally, I, well, more than that. It took about an hour for it to finally kick in the last time. But I was praising God through that pain. And I know for some people it may seem like, how can you praise God through pain? And like, that's hard because you in pain. Yes, but I kept saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Like, whatever it is that's in my body, God, I know you're going to fix it. I know I'm already healed. I just got to walk through your purpose. And it's a purpose in what I'm going through. Was it hard for me to do that? Yes, because I was in physical pain. But then I had to think about the physical pain that God went through to save us. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's no amount of pain that we can ever say that we're in that God endured for us. So knowing that I'm walking in his purpose and I'm doing what he need me to do, that pain was only temporary. And I had enough sense to go to the hospital because a lot of people are like, well, if you're claiming God for everything. Why would you even have to go to the hospital if he performs miracles? And yes, he does. But God also gives us 
um, intelligence and he gives us mind to know that he put these doctors in place because it's going to be times that we're just going to go through and we have to go to a doctor. Yes, it's herbal medication. Yes, they have all these different new ways of just healing. And I'm doing that. I'm doing more of herbal types of medications and natural remedies and stuff like that. But sometimes our body just goes through certain withdrawals and things. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm sorry. Jordan called. And then Reyante called to tell me she was on her way. She had stopped to get air in the tire. She had went to put air in the tire. And she said she meant to do it yesterday. So, so however. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. So, like I was saying, I'm learning, um, you know, to trust in God for him, for who he is. And knowing that it's a testimony in every single thing that's happening. And I say that because um, since you just got to follow him, <laughs> I say that because when, and like I said, it's just, just telling y'all what happened. Um, I, like I said, I was laying in the bed. I went to sleep for just a little bit, but like, I was just praying, you know, I was just praying and talking to God and giving it to him and, and staying in his faith, knowing that the pain was going to end. It was going to ease up and it finally did. Everybody was so nice. I had a woman doctor. She was young. She was a young lady. And then I had a male nurse, a female nurse, and a male radiologist. Um, and he took such good care of me. Like, he kept bringing me warming blankets. Everybody was just so nice. And it's like they was, for some reason, like, I have been to the ER many times, and everything is just rushed. And when I got there, they cooked me up to every machine possible. They was testing my heart because, and then, like I said, they had to end up giving me another heart pill and all of that so like everything was just flowing and going but they were still so nice and i told y'all it was no exaggeration i started throwing up around four o'clock that day and i threw up well into 12 one o'clock in the morning it's why i was that dehydrated it was just rough but like i said they were just so sweet and so kind to me um and then they when jordan by the time jordan came in of course they were still being sweet I talking to the receptionist and the security guard i had no idea of that because of course i'm in the back i didn't know what was going on and what they was talking about please don't pull out of there so um and they was laughing because they was like when you came in you couldn't even stand we're not laughing but they was like man god is good and it's so good to be around people who have faith because usually when you go to hospitals you don't hear that but they was like, God is so good. When you first came in here, you couldn't talk. You couldn't walk. You was hunched over. And I, I could not speak, y'all. I was in so much pain. And it was just, like, unbelievable that they seen that. You know what I mean? Like, for somebody to see that and see a difference that five, five six hours made when I came out. And they was like, you know, thank God that you're doing well. And, you know, just all like all of the, the the faith, the praises that they were saying just makes you feel good because it's like, Lord have mercy. Like, thank you, Jesus. You're around people who are who are just in their faith. So it felt good. It just felt so good. So we were just saying, like, how good how good God is and worshiping him in the in the emergency room entrance and like i said it was just us so afterwards something just had happened they just turned their lights on over it and the cop passed and they just turned them on so i guess they got a call so anyway um so they was like you gonna bring us back some of them cakes so i looked at up. i said oh so y'all was up here talking about food that's how i found out about it i was like so y'all talking about food and i'm back there in pain so they laughed so everything just went so well y'all so I told, I had told a lady, it was like, it just hit in my head. And I told that woman, I said, I was laying in that bed and I was just praying and thanking God for everything that he's been doing and how he's moving in my life. And everything that I go through is for something like, and I know it may not make sense, but it's like everything that I go through, I'm realizing it was for something. And God always end up getting the glory out of it. So where Jordan blessed them with food and he can potentially have a job with that you know so it's like a lot of times like I said it's testimonies it's testimonies and so much stuff that we do and so much stuff that we go through it's never a time that we're going through something that is not for the betterment 
of ourselves and God is you know is showing us it's a reason you know it's a reason so just stay stay in your faith stay prayed up stay knowing that God is working and he's doing the impossible he's moving mountains for you and it's like I'm learning that I'm seeing that and I am so in love with God I am so like passionate about everything that comes with speaking of God and just his power and everything and it's like like I said I'm just I'm, it's a it's a it's a, an amazing feeling y'all it really is and like I said yes I've always had faith and I've always knew that God was working and doing and moving in my life but since you know me surrendering everything to him and since me just having my life completely dedicated in God and everything that comes along with it it's just my life is different I move differently I walk differently I speak differently and it just feels so good it's like you can't even explain how good it feels like the peace like the peace that you have is so great you could be going through so much with that peace like I never would imagine going through what I'm going through and with my mama and now my dad again because y'all know this is like his fourth or fifth stroke and he's not well his he has full-on dementia the cancer and now he has two different types and we having to deal with drama with the wife and <laughs> It's a lot, but it's like no matter what we're going through, just the peace that we have and that we don't have to argue with nobody. Like people can talk about you. They can lie on you and they can say, well, you're not doing this or you're not doing that or whatever. But it's like that peace that God is saying, baby, I got this. You don't have to worry about nothing. It does not matter. who Talk about you, lie on you, don't believe you, who want to smear your name, who don't like you envious of whatever whatever it may be like I got this you don't even have to fight this battle and it's like for uh, for me to get to that understanding of knowing you know how good it feels to have somebody fighting battles for you before you even know you at war with somebody like come on not like I, I'm in that space like I don't even know if a, I know battles are always coming stuff is always throwing at us but it's like to know that God is protecting all of us from stuff before it even happened. Things that has not even happened in our life yet, he's already protecting us from it. The things that he's shielding us from. The stuff that we go through that we see that at the time is so bad and we can't get through it or we don't know how we're going to get through it. And then a month later, it's not even a thought in your mind. It's like you know, like, man, I can't believe I sit there and stressed over that and it was okay. That bill that you worrying about, you don't know how you're going to pay because the deadline is today. Hallelujah. I can say it because today I got to pay my phone bill today. I got to pay my phone bill by 7 o'clock today. I sure do. But it's going to be paid before 7 o'clock today. And it's like I'm not even stressing over it. And normally I would be like, man, I got to hurry and make sure my money posts, my check posts. And I'm that, even like we're working with companies, and it's like, okay, well, I know this is going to pay for this bill. So, And I know I, my payday is today. It's the 31st, my payday today. So I just needed to come on and hop in my account. I know it's going to be. I don't even have to worry about it. Like I, My faith, I know God is going to do it. I know he's going to do it. Don't know how. Don't know when, don't know when, don't know why it's going, but it's going to happen. Just knowing that, like, man, like, you can't tell me God does not work. You cannot tell me that God is not real. No, I don't care who it is. You cannot offer me any amount of money to make me believe otherwise. Never. Somebody can offer me a, a billion dollars and tell me I can have any home, any car, live wherever I want if I just join this side and no because I would rather be have no money in my pocket not knowing how I'm going to do this this or this and still serve God versus sell my soul to the devil 
for millions of dollars and then you trap under him. I don't care how bad things seem to be in my life. No, no, baby, I'm fine. You keep that. You you keep you can keep all that because I'm good. I promise you, I'm good. And so many people doing it and don't think they not because it's a lot of time we see stuff on social media and we're like, oh my God, how they like going like this? They buying houses and if you a social media influencer, oh my God, they getting all these views and they doing this and it just seems like stuff is, a lot of time God is blessing them. God is doing that. But then sometimes the devil is doing it because blessings can come from the devil too. So you got to be careful. You got to know, you got to know, you got to have that wisdom and you have to be intentional with every single thing that you do. And that's why I say I'm always praying and I'm asking God to lead me every morning throughout the day. I'm surrendering stuff to God because I get thoughts and we all were human. So we all get thoughts in our mind about stuff. And so, like I said, everything is not perfect. We get those thoughts. And then I'll be like, man, shut up, devil. That's just what I say. I'll be like, man, shut up, devil. You have no place here. You have nothing here. I don't care what I'm going through and dealing with. I don't care how hard it got to be. Shut up. God got this. God got this. And that's how I am. Like, that's where I'm at now. Because like I said, them thoughts are going to come into our mind. And then I just go into my Bible. I just go into my Bible. And I just ask God to please, Lord, just get these thoughts out of my head. Heal me, Jesus. You know, fix me. Allow me to be okay. Allow these thoughts to go away. Allow this stuff to not even be an issue or a problem. And then I just get into the Bible. And sometimes I could be reading my Bible and things could be going well. Then I just get a thought or I get an email of something didn't go the way that I thought it was going to go. And then I will get down because this morning, the company that I'm working with, um, I supposed to have posted some pictures and I put a lot of time in doing those pictures and reels and all of that stuff and then I found out they want to go in a different direction I'm still getting paid I'm still doing it they just going into a different direction and the company has the right to do that so I'm still like I said I'm still working with them and everything they're not choosing anybody else I just have to do different pictures so it's like okay you just get back you know you just get back into it and you just do it again like that's just it you just go right back and you do it again you re-record because it's like you don't know like you just don't know and it's not that you get aggravated and be like, oh god i can't like no and at first i was at first i was like man i put all my hard work into this and it's like no it's just practice god it's just practice god is elevating you to another level and you just practice because you're gonna get better and better and that's where i'm at now you know that's my motivation that's where i am that's what god is it's just he's pushing me he's pushing me and he's showing me that no matter what's going on, my child, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. And I did not mean to talk y'all hands off. I promise y'all I didn't. I just, I told y'all, when God puts something on my mind and on my heart, I'm not going to hinder it anymore. Because if I hinder it and God, God putting it on me and I don't say it, I don't speak about it, I'm not being obedient to God. And one thing about my life, I'm not playing with God. I'm going to be very obedient to him in which ever it may be um so i thank you guys for listening and i love y'all i do i just made it into this goodwill i don't know how much i'm gonna record if i buy stuff i may show a haul or if i see something interesting i may pick it up but i just want y'all to understand i really want today for just to be on to unwind and just relax and just go through the clothes and you know but like i said if i see something i'm gonna insert it in but i will be back all right, y'all, I am back. As y'all see, I did not record anything. They were playing music, and they really didn't have, like, any furniture or nothing. Um, y'all know I've been looking for me a chair for my room, and they really didn't have anything um, at this location. But I did find some stuff for Mama, so I'm happy about that. Um, I, found, I was able to find her some pajamas and some sweaters like some heavy some thicker pajamas and sweaters y'all know i told y'all anytime and my thing was just to, my goal was just to go and look around and i enjoyed myself i enjoyed myself just looking around just, but they was playing music so i couldn't record and but like i said i ended up finding mom with some cute little pajamas and a few sweaters that's kind of you know a little bit heavier for her because she definitely needs them um I did find me two pair, two pair, 
three pair. I found me three pair of jogging pants, and they were only three dollars each because no, they was two fifty each because they was regular five. Oh, they was four nine nine, so they was regular five, and all of their purple tags was half off. So I only did purple tags. They had a lot of stuff there that she could have fit, but because of my budget, I only did purple tags. So I scored real big. I scored really, really big today, and I'm glad. So I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff when I get home, and then I'm gonna throw them in the washer, wash it, and then give mama her stuff. But yeah, so I did good. I saved, y'all I can't see, I saved $32.16. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. So, I'm glad. I'm so glad. So, now I have to stop at the bank and deposit this money for my phone bill. And it showed that my money had posted. I'm just waiting for it to go through. Y'all know how sometimes... It don't, your money don't go through until around 12 o'clock. So, I'm about to stop and do this. So, I can pay this bill. Then I can go home. Figure out what I'm going to eat. What I'm going to cook. What I'm going to eat and what I'm going to cook for the day. Because I don't know. And then as soon as I got there, Riri texted me. Hey, mama, you having fun yet? I'm like, dang, I just got here. I want to have fun if you stop calling me. Turn my ringer back up. I ended up turning it on vibrate. I'm like, if you stop calling me, I can. Oh, man. But I really did enjoy myself. Just some me quiet time. And just being able to look through clothes. I was so surprised that it's like those joggers was meant for me. Because every, like, three items of clothes I went through, it was another one. I was like, wow. And I guess the same person must have donated them. Because, you know, when it's the same brand. And then it has, they like. Y'all will see what I'm talking about when I show them to you. I was like, dang, somebody must have donated all of that stuff. But I don't mind shopping at Goodwill. <laughs> I don't. Because I like, y'all know, I told y'all, I love to wear like oversized tops like this with a basic tee and some joggers if I'm just lounging and running an errand real quick. And then, of course, I get dressed up and wear my jeans and all of that. But on days like this... I don't want to be constricted in jeans um, if we want out to eat or, you know, something like that. But I just want to be comfortable and still cute and stylish. But like I said, these only that I got a Mississippi pay, Mississippi State pair and y'all know Talia went there. Now, those I can wear out and about my Mississippi State joggers and pair it with a black hoodie and or like a black um, tee underneath and then just put my jean, um, my jean top overneath over on, on top and just layer it so it's just about layering and looking cute but like i said the other two are just more like just around lounging and at the house and stuff um or if i gotta run to walmart real quick because they're like they came from walmart it's the walmart brand they're a takara i think it's a takara brand but either either way they're cute so, but when i get to the house i'm gonna show y'all this stuff let me call jordan because his sister called me and she doesn't ever just call me so let me call him and see if he talked to her because i didn't answer because i was trying to have some me time and it's like i know i would have told his sister that i was in goodwill and she still would have talked to me and i just wanted to enjoy myself <laughs> yeah i know how some people you'll tell them you out and they still talk and i you just want to enjoy yourself yeah but all right i'll be back <laughs> okay well as long as you're not cold hey y'all all right i done made it back in I'm about to go through this stuff and show mama what I got her. I got to see which one of these are her bags first. Well, everything is probably just mixed in. So, And I ended up with three big old Goodwill bags. Three big One, two, <laughs> three. Three big, old, three big old Goodwill bags. Can you see my face? Hold on. I need my thumbnail. Okay, now, this is what I got for Mama, because I told y'all she's been needing some more pajamas, so I got her, I found three pair, these here are small, and she still be having to kind of take them up in the waist, but they got a drawstring on them, and it's like that heavy, that heavy fleece material, and she said she's been looking for some winter ones for some for Christmas, so I found her these, 
And these are from, from Old Navy. The color tags that they had today was purple. So everything that I got, that what I got on sale, that was purple. And that lady said I did amazing. And I told you guys how much I saved. I saved over almost $34. And then I still have more bonus points. So, but these pants was nothing but $2.99 for the regular price. So that was fine. Couldn't beat that $3. So she got her a pair of Old Navy Christmas bottoms. And like I said, these are very heavy and thick. And that's what she needs. And then they got these cute little, um, like, Christmas trees. And they're cute. And this blue, I like this blue. It's a real pretty blue. And this one here is an extra small. And it's by Gillian and O'Malley. And this was only $2.99. And I found my son Deontay a shirt, so I'm going to give him his shirt while he's in here. Mm -hmm. Because he said that his boo, his boo said she liked when I get him stuff. So I found him this um, Tommy Hill figure, button down, yellow and white top. It is a 2XL, but it's big. This is a big top, and it's long. And y'all know Tommy Hill figure clothes fit big and tall, guys. And he like. He know when I want to get him clothes so when he goes out, especially like during the winter with his friends and stuff, the fall and winter time, um, you know, I want him to look nice, of course. I always get stuff from my kids. And it was $4.59, so, I mean $5.59, so $5.50, so it was half off with the purple tag. So that was not bad at all. And like I said, it's yellow and white, so I'm going to let him try it on. Hopefully he can fit it. If not, you know what he can do if he can't button it? You wear it open with a top underneath. So that's, uh, that's the only thing I found for him. Because I was not going there for him. I was going there just so... I wasn't even going for me. I was just kind of going so I could just kind of look around and clear my head and all that like I told y'all. But I found stuff, so you can't beat that. Then I found Mama another pair of Old Navy. And these are just a checkerboard print. So another Christmas pair. Because y'all know everybody likes to wear these print around Christmas time. This is not that thick fleece, but it's still some pants for it. She can wear inside. So, them three. Here you go. But she can't reach that again. So, I got her them three. And then I found her. Let me this glass. Let's see. Maybe it's going to work. And she was talking about what I owe you. I was about to get her, but can't get your mama. Let's see. I don't know when I got her something else. And then I found her this sweater. And like I told y'all, this is small, and it's by Stars Above. It's just a cute little, like a blush pink sweater. It's a small, even though it looks kind of big. And like I told y'all, and she can wear it with like a long sleeve shirt, um, like underneath, and wear it when she goes to chemo. And this was a purple tag. It was two ninety nine, so three dollars. So I ended up just getting it for a dollar fifty. Yeah. Didn't I say that right? How much I said this one? Dollar fifty. Two nine nine, yeah, three dollars. Okay, so I got it for a dollar fifty. So this is another little cute top for her. And she can wear the chemo, keep herself warm. I did find these for Philip because I can never find him pajamas. So it was look, and it was on the woman's side. And these are old navy small, but these are boy pajamas because that child getting so small and tall, he's getting so tall. So he needed some more pajamas. Um, and I always buy him a men small, or either a men medium. And like I said, it's by Old Navy, and it just got turtles. So, he'll love that. He will love that. And then, again for Mama, I found her this cute little purple. Um, it's a fleece sweater that she can wear when she's inside and on the nights that she's cold and she can't get warm. And it's a small, and it's by Secret Treasures. No, this is a medium. It's by Secret Treasures, and it just stays stay cozy. But again, she can wear it with like her little t-shirt underneath and it's thick enough so it'll keep her warm. So I got her that. Sleep cozy. And then I found her this little one. It's a button down pajama one. So she can have this on, you know, on the days that she does her chemo because it's easier for her with a button down. Um, this one was not a proper tag, but it was only $2.99. And... This one is a small also, and it's by Charter Club Intimates. So, it is a thick fleece. And she be needing thicker pajamas, so I found her that. So, I think I got her three pants and three tops. Yeah. Even though they don't, they're not matching, but they're not the matching set, but she can always mix and match. Mm -hmm. 
She said it don't need to match. So I think that's all that I found for my hot thing. So let me show y'all what I just got. Because we like to sit in the house and we be watching movies. And when we sit in here and watch movies and we be on a couch, we can they can have this little blanket. And this is a nice blanket. I got this for $5.99 and it was on I got it for ended up getting it for $2.99. And this is a long blanket. But you see how big this thing is? Mm -hmm. This thing like size of my bed. And it is long, still long. That's the on your bed, huh? And it smells good. It smells like perfume. You can smell the perfume on this blanket. Yeah, on your bed, huh? Yeah. So I probably just bring it, like I said, when I come in here to watch movies. And it's a cute fall orange. So I found that blanket. Because I don't, I be forgetting that they be selling blankets at Goodwill. And then I found Philip this cute little black Santa blanket. Because he be wanting to use mine. But I'm just going to, I have our little, I'm going to show you guys this behind me. I had got that um, basket from our brother and sister T and Marie. So I keep our blankets in there. So I can just fold them up and put this little blanket in here. So when he's in here watching TV or playing his game, watching movies, he'll have his little black Santa. His little hood, his little hood, Afro-American Santa. <laughs> and how much was this? $2.99. Two ninety nine. Can't beat that. So that's the two blankets. And I told Jordan I found this one on the way out because I called him on the phone. <laughs> this that's what I was talking about, Jordan. And it's a pretty orange. Oh, pretty. It's like a yeah. real it's more like a peach. It's not an orange, it's more like a peaches orange. Yeah, you, yeah, you. But it's cute and it's nice and oversized. So I can pair this with a long sleeve top underneath and wear them with some cute jeans and my boots when we go in somewhere. But it is nice and cozy. I like it. And I can say I found this on the way out. And it was just five dollars. So I wasn't going to leave that there. That looks like you. Mama said that looked like me. And then my favorite, if y'all know me, y'all know what I like to wear. Jogging pants and leggings. If I'm in the house, if I got to go run run some errands, and I'm pairing with a nice size, oversized sweater. And I found these, and these are thick. They are an extra large. I don't know who they're by because that tag was cut out. But they are extra large. It was on a purple tag. Whoever. And they got their logo on the back. But I don't know who that logo will be. But they are super, super thick and stretchy. They have like the reinforcement on the side. And these babies thick. When I felt it, I said, dang. I said, golly. And they got the little crotch part. Because, you know, I hate getting the leggings that don't have the crotch part. So I found this. And... What I like to do when I go, I like to find stuff that match stuff so I'll have a whole outfit. So, I found this button down. And this button down is by Maurice's. And it is in a three. And you guys know that's how they stuff run, like one, two, and three. So, it's a three. So, it's just oversized. And I got this to go with. And it was only $2.99. I got that. To go with this. And then I'll just pair. A cute top underneath. So that'll be a whole outfit right there. For fall and winter. That's why I tell Joy. Like when I go. I always kind of think ahead. About what I'm getting. Now these MSU pants. If you are not a fan of MSU. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm an Alabama fan. I'm an LSU fan. And I know people say you shouldn't do that. Because they're rivals. But I like football. So I love college football. I love NFL football. And my daughter went to Mississippi State. And these are the champion brand. So these are real thick. Um, and you see they're, they're big. I got them in the large. So I know they'll kind of fit me like these fit. Because I wish they would have had the extra large. But you're going to Goodwill. So. Um, but even with a champion large, it's bigger than a normal large. And it's the same. It's a regular color burgundy that the Mississippi State colors are. And y'all know if you buy these pants in a store or you go to the college, you're paying $35, $45 for these. I only paid $4 for these. No rips, no tear, no nothing. And it said Mississippi State Bulldog down the leg. And I could also pair that with this if I'm going somewhere. All right. And then uh, I just found this burgundy color t-shirt because I figured... I can pair this burgundy colored t-shirt underneath this blue 
top and pair them with some blue jeans or either some black leggings and it'll be another outfit. So instantly got three to four outfits and all under what, 10, $12 for three outfits. That's just how when I go, how I think about getting stuff. And then here, a purple tag. And these are by No Boundaries. And these cute. Like I said, I can just kind of wear these, you know, inside getting filled up, cooking breakfast, lunch, however. And they are long. And these are some thick joggers. They got pockets. And they were $3.99, so $4. I paid $2 for these. $2. <laughs> and then I just found this top. To go with it and it's just a regular tee um but it was over in the sleeping section and it's by hue yeah it's sleepwear because it's a hue sleepwear and it's an extra large so i'm gonna be inside so i don't need a you know a long sleeve shirt inside so just got the full set the blue so this will be one of my around the house launching sets so let's see this top was three dollars so i got it for what a dollar fifty so $1.50 and $2. So that's $5 for a full set. Can I say how much this was? Yeah, $2 and $2. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, so $5 for a whole set. $5. And I'm not cheap. I'm just proving I got to take this off. I'm inside and I'm going to turn the heater on. Okay. But you needed it outside because it's cold or it's cool. All right, now this is the only thing that I did not find the bottoms for, but I have a greenish color shirt that'll match this already at the house, and I have this brownish peach color. So this is another pair of joggers that came from, uh, these are secret treasures, and they in a large, extra large, a purple tag, so $3, so I got them for $1.50, because it was half off, and they comfortable, they thick, and I like. And also, as y'all see the theme, I can still pay that with this with a cute little top underneath. Run to the grocery store. I don't, I don't be playing. Now these, I, I, I thought they was cute because they just pink and white. Um, they secret treasures. They just uh, 12 to a 14. Purple tag, $3. So I got them $1.50. And then all of the pants like that, they come with the little ruffle on the bottom. So another pair. Okay, that looks nice on you. Hmm. So cute little pants, dollar fifty. Another inside lounging pair. Cause I tell you, all I really have for lounging. Mama gave me two. One is like more of a capri, and they thin. I can still sleep in them, cause of course we got our heat on. But in the morning, when it's damp and cool, and like I said, if I gotta run outside or run and do something, I'll have. Them. And this is the cute little top I got to go with it. It is long sleeve and it's like an oversized. Um, and it just say make to make today a good day. It is sleepwear. It's by Crown and Ivy. It's in a large, but it's big. And three dollars or a dollar fifty. So three dollars for this whole little set. Then I'm gonna wear inside. So five and eight for these two. So that's eight dollars total for these. And then I found me a sweater. And that was it. And it's just a black hoodie. Um, and I can wear that hoodie with this, but I'm not. <laughs> but just a regular size, regular oversized hoodie. I got it from the men department because that's just me. It is, uh, no, the, I'm sorry, it came from the women's department. The men, when I put back, I should have got it because it had a hood, but it wasn't a purple tag. And it was like $5.99. That's not bad, $6, but I was still trying to stay within my budget. So $5.99, so $6. I got this for three. And it's a 2XL, so it's a size 20. So this is a nice black. And y'all know I love black. If y'all don't know that about me, I love purple. I love black. It's certain colors that I just like, and I look good in black. Um, so <laughs> yeah, $3 for this. Yeah. So I think I did good for somebody who wasn't even going to get nothing, huh? Like I said, I was just going to clear my head. So it was for me. It wasn't nobody in there but two other people. So I had, it was, you know, it was peaceful. Well, no kids in there. Well, they had one lady came in there with her child, but I was getting ready to leave out, and she was going in there looking for a Halloween costume for her little boy. But that was the only person that came in with a child, and it was a um, another, an older lady, and then a woman that was about my age, 
they was both looking at um, household stuff. And they really didn't have, they had Christmas stuff, but all the Christmas stuff they had is kind of stuff that you have already. So I didn't want to get nothing that you already got. Now they did have this nice little wicker basket that had hope. It was red and it had hope on it. But they wanted $12.99 for that. And I was like, I just, I don't know, I could I can get a wicker basket from the Dollar Tree or Walmart for $5 and get like a piece of red linen. Because that's all they did. It was like a piece of red linen on the inside. And, you know, you can decorate that with Christmas stuff. Because you could tell that's all whoever had it did. And it just seemed like, I don't know, sometimes they household items. Because the more, now they had a whole lot of, um, like, little knickknacks that you can put, like, on your table, like, for a tablescape. And it was, like, $1.99. But, like I said, I wasn't there for that. So, if it's meant for me, when I go back, it'll be there. If not, it wasn't meant for me. Because I don't want to be that impulse buyer and just buy stuff just because it's in there. If it's a good deal, if it's something that I'm like, wow, you know, I'm going to get this because I won't be able to find this anywhere else. I can go to Home Goods right now and find those. Or uh, uh, what you call that other place, babe? That everybody be talking about for the holidays? Not Home Goods, is it? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby be having them for like two and three dollars for the bigger ones, and then they be having the small ones for a dollar. So I know I can get those. It's just like little ceramic little bowls you can put candy in and stuff like that. So that's something that's like if it was unique, yes. But for that. Yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all think. I told y'all I'm sorry I couldn't bring y'all in with me. But they just, they be playing music loud. And I don't like to be having to edit over all of that. I be wanting y'all to hear me when I go in. Um, But I'm about to get all of this stuff in the washer and washed and dried now. Because tomorrow is our regular laundry day. And I don't want to have to do this with laundry. And tonight, we're probably going to end up watching movies when the kids, because they're not going to be out long. So when they get back, we'll probably watch movies, and I can just have a little blanket. And I know George like blankets like this, because my blue one, he's like, babe, Riri gave me that, and you took it. So now we can share this one, because it's big enough. And I just like, it's a pretty orange, huh? And I, I be seeing blankets like this, but I don't usually just buy them from the store, because I have them. But I want to start getting more blankets for the fall just so you can switch out. Um, and I can't really decorate my couch because it's a sectional. And they got this thing in the middle or whatever. But I couch is comfortable. And then like I said, Philip, he probably going to sleep in these tonight. If I know my child. Or he'll just wear them on a weekend. <laughs> nah, he'll wear these in the house on a weekend. But anytime I have to buy this child pants now. I have to get him a man small, or uh, mostly a man medium. But I know these are fitting because these old navy, so these are fit him good. But my, you tore your tags off. Why well, need you to kind of rip? Why well, I just cut them? But like I said, y'all, I appreciate y'all hanging with me. I told y'all what we having for dinner. We doing spaghetti. I may make some cornbread with it or something. I don't know. They just may have spaghetti. But I'm about to fix my hamburger because I'm hungry. And like I said, it's 1.30 and I ain't eat. I had some grapes this morning for breakfast. <laughs> but because I tell y'all, I really have been doing fruit, fruit fast in the morning time. So where if I if I fast, if I do my spiritual fast, I don't ever talk about it. So when I do my fast, and on the days that I don't fast, the days that I do fast, I stop at 11. The days that I don't fast, I just do a fruit fast in the morning. And then certain days, I'll have a full breakfast. But it's not affecting me none because... This weight is steady going up the ladder with all this medicine and <laughs> these hormones. And I did not realize. I knew it. I'm not going to say that because I was already pre-warned that I was going to probably double um, a good bit of my weight. My OB doctor told me that way before the hysterectomy. She was like, within six to eight months, I could possibly gain up to 50 pounds just because my body is trying to do what it needs to do. And then it'll level out. So I'm like, okay, it, you know, it is what it is. And like I said, I eat healthy and I eat clean, but I can drink water and gain three pounds from the water weight. And it's like nothing helps. And then I take bladder medicine because I have an overactive bladder. So for them to stop that, they have me on the mirbetric. Mir 
and that works so I don't go as often. I still know, naturally go, I just don't go all day. But even when I was going all day, I was still retaining a lot of fluid because my ankles, my hands swell, everything, my face, everything just swells. But I'm getting older, so I'm just going to embrace whatever God is doing. I'm embracing it. I'm not going to fight it. I'm definitely not going to do any kind of diets. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to keep eating clean and staying on the path that I'm going because I feel well. I don't feel heavy. Even like today, we're having spaghetti. Um, and they didn't have turkey. I was looking for the ground turkey, but they didn't have any. They only had one little small pack. That's not going to be enough for our family. So we just kind of, you know, make changes and as we go. So, but as long as my family eating, I'm happy because I'm probably going to end up eating one bowl of spaghetti and that'll probably be it for me anyway. But I do want my burger and I'm going to put me some lettuce and tomato on it because that's what I want. And Hold on. Move y'all down real quick. You gonna find me a rubber tank? Huh? Huh? No. Yeah. I did. You can find some. We can both have one. Hmm? We can both have one. You are you are very welcome, mother. Make me a batch of corn candy today. Let's <laughs> try I don't want the video to be super long, but I know y'all like long videos. Y'all love the longer videos. I was talking to this guy at um, the Christmas party. He was going in approval. And he was like, hey, how you doing? He never spoke. He was a heavy set guy. And he had on some shorts, a t-shirt. He had on like one of them jackets, kind of like I had on. He said, tell me you love it this weather. I said, yes, I am. He said, thank you. He said, because I just left with Dixie. And everybody in there complaining because it's cold. I said, no. I said, the last time we had the cold front came in, I was upset when it got back warm again. <laughs> because it's like, I, I love when the weather is like this. For multiple reasons. But it's like, you get to, you know, you get to just cuddle up. And cuddle up with your big boy. So this is why you get you, you a, you a chunky woman, you get you a chunky man. Y'all won't be, y'all won't be cold. Y'all won't be cold. But no, you get, I don't know. You just, it's like this time of year, you get in the kitchen, you cook, you get to eat good old comfort food and have some hot coffee or some tea. I mean, I, you have coffee, hot coffee, the tea, and just enjoy family time. Like be in the house and then, 
on the days that the because if the sun not out, it's just gonna be ugh. But if the sun out, go out and watch your kids play with their jackets and stuff on. Like I don't know, just get just a fresh air. <laughs> And they come inside and let them have their bath and shower and warm up. And I don't know. I love the weather when it's like this. I need my white sugar. And I got my brown sugar. I like this is a tight little space right now. But we're going to make it do what it do. Let me wash my hands first. I'm gonna wash my hands. Now I'm gonna open up, and I already have a recipe on my candy. I got three on my channel, on this channel. Jordan got one on his channel. So I'm not doing a tutorial or nothing because, like I said, I it's all on the channel on how I make the candy. I'm doing the microwave method. I'm not doing the stove method. I'm doing the bits cream. The 12 minute for corn candy. This is my favorite. And I'm doing two batches. So I'm doubling up. So that's two pans. That's going to be two of everything. So I said, if y'all seen the video, that's on Jordan's channel or either one of my videos that's on here. You just pull up either cooking with pops for corn candy or you can pull up Alicia Southern Crew for corn candy. Oh, you heard that song, man. I was jamming that song coming here. I was crying and everything. I love that song. I was jamming it. I know Joy probably heard me coming down the street. I had my Pandora on. Oh, I love that song. But I was worth safe. I listen to that and silver and gold. Those are two not those are not those are not my only two favorite songs, but those are two of my favorite songs. That is silver and gold. And boy, I would I was in the car. You would have thought, look, let's just say girl for jam. <laughs> for um <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs. You would do a half a stick of butter for each can. But since I'm doing two pans, I'm doing a whole stick of butter. Oh, yeah. I love that song. And I do two cups. I do a cup of white sugar per can. So since I got two, I'm doing two cups of white sugar. And two cups. Oh, the Rance, Rance Allen group. That's that my baby there. The rest is cold. That was my boy. Boy, Prince Allen, that hit them notes. That woo-woo. That woo-woo. That woo, he hit them notes, and that woo-woo be having his spirit jumping, honey. Lord, I miss him. When he, when he died, I cried. Like, I cried like that was my uncle. Like, I personally knew him. That hurt my heart. I listened to that man growing up from a little girl. I remember my uncle used to play him. They used to play in the church. My grandma, like my mama. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And then, of course, the same two cups of brown sugar. I don't pack the brown sugar, I just have it loose because I don't want it to be sweet. And I may, well, I want it sweet, but not. I'm going to do like a cup and a half. And I do put my brown sugar in a container. That's it. I'll add the vanilla. When it's time. But it's not time yet. So I say what I did. I'm just going to knock this spoon out. And you don't stir it or nothing. Like I said, it's not a tutorial. I'm just talking when I'm talking to myself. I just got to add a little pinch of salt. And I'm putting the salt in my hand. And I do have, I think this was the salted butter, 
but butter, <laughs> salted butter. Why is it hard for me to say that? I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave, and I'm gonna do three and a half minutes. So each time is three and a half minutes. The second time I take it out, I'm gonna stir it up. I take it out this time, and then I'll put it back in there two more times. But while I'm doing that, I gotta butter my pan. I got my butter on here and I got my napkin. I'm just gonna go ahead old school and just spread my butter on. Now I do make traditional candy on the stove with um, pet milk, carnation. That's Ellen's favorite. But when I'm doing the microwave method or the quick 30 minute method, I do the sweet condensed cream. Because it, all it is is just thickens it up. It's just half and half. And I make sure I butter it real good because I do not want my candy sticking. Even though it's butter and stuff in your candy, I don't want it to still stick. You sang. You sang. You sang it. <laughs> Don't listen to Joy, y'all. Joy can sing. <laughs> Joy really can sing, y'all. If he wants to, he can sing. He ain't right when he got to act right. That's all I'm saying. Clean up my mess as I go. Let me put him on this mic. Tell him to sing. No. <laughs> no. Sing, ain't Joy. Sing it. Sing it, boy. Sing it. Yep, I got my chips. While I'm waiting on this to come out the microwave, beneath this. You stir for one minute. in here another three and a half minutes good yes. didn't know what else to cook we needed something quick another three and a half minutes all right y'all i'm hungry so excuse me Done. And I'm gonna eat some. And then baby gonna find me a burger. And you say, I guess somebody say you can eat chicken and a burger. Yes. I'm hungry. Be greedy, be right. This is my first time eating. I will gladly say that I've got real feed me out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Like he'll give me food when I don't have to. 
But when I asked for it, I had to almost beg. You got to mess with me in my stomach. Why do you have to have big? But it's, it's okay. I laugh all the same. It'd be funny sometimes. Other times it's not. I ain't ate all day. You do mess with me though. You do like. I told you I never. <laughs> you playing with my stomach like that. You want that guy left left? Huh? You want that guy left left? Want that guy what? No. I don't know. I'd make more. You got a fan of him. I don't know. I'd make more than You know how they eat. The little bit hungry. These babies here eat. And Deontay be hungry. And Deontay be hungry. Yes, I and Jordan be hungry. Hold on now. Well, you do. You do. I don't eat spaghetti like that. It give me heart burn. Well, don't give me heart burn. I don't. And then, of course, you know. I'll be hungry. The mental family be hungry. Too. <laughs> yep. And especially at night. The girl be hungry at night. Jordan took the seat, like, babe, I'm hungry. I say, me too. And then we got to account for your lovely grandmother making go play for everybody. I think it's only because we eat too much stuff and not finish. But, yeah, because we, me and Jordan, like I said, we don't usually eat till around 1 unless we out and we'll stop and get lunch at 11. But my fans always ends at 11. Y'all do now, last night, I ain't going to lie, I was full. I think because I cook late. And I don't normally, and that's not late to y'all, but normally I don't cook like that. Y'all be careful because even if y'all using the plastic containers, it's gonna be hot. 330 again. I need to go ahead on and eat all these wings. I do not like my chicken heated in the air fryer. I mean in the microwave. You can call me bougie. You can call me whatever you like. I will take it, but I do not like chicken heat. I will eat it, eat it cold. Before I eat it in my boy. And what you keep on saying, but what you did before air fryers, I used to put it in the oven. You ask me, Mom, I used to reheat my, I used to put my chicken in the broiler. Because I just don't like the taste of it in the microwave once it's been cold. But I'll eat cold chicken just like I'll eat cold pizza. I know me. Hey, Y'all remember I just bought that pack of pop tarts? Philip ate them up. He got one left. He don't eat peanut. He eat peanut butter, but not like he used to. But now he just wants the pop tarts, and he eat the berry berry and the strawberry. But I said, why you gotta eat the ones I like? Cause I bought them for me. Cause I bought him a pack. And he ate his pack up. And I bought me a pack. And now he's going to eat my pack up. And he's talking about, it's always better when mama got it. Stop saying that. <laughs> and then bugles. I told y'all, this these are like my cravings. Bugles and hot chips. I need the saltiness. And my magnesium been low. I take magnesium medicine. 
And if you know if your magnesium low, you will crave salt, salty stuff. So what y'all been up to? What y'all cooking? I know a lot of y'all told me the other day when I asked y'all what y'all was cooking. If y'all had leftovers, y'all was telling me. Man, y'all made it sound good. Even everybody who was having leftovers or just breakfast for dinner. It was sounding good, y'all. Y'all see all that meat? The strawberry and cream one and the diet, the zero strawberry and cream Dr. Pepper. But the regular Dr. Pepper wasn't on sale. I get people who ask me why I do not make and sell for corn candy because although I love to do it because I love to eat it it's not fun to have to make it if you know you're going to sell it because sometimes like I said before your kitchen is too high it's not going to set 
So you'll have to wake up early in the morning. Make sure your kitchen is at a perfect temperature. Now, we, I do like to just make candy and give it out for it. And I know a lot of people don't do this because they like they smooth. But this is how my granny always did. And then I just cut it. Or you can drop it down like a lot of people do. But if you're going to drop it, you got to have a lot of people helping you. And you got to hurry and drop because it will sit real quick. And the spoon is mine. And I already have some here that I've been sampling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sit over here. And cool because it's hot. But the rest of the candy, I'm going to take it out and put it on the plate. And a lot of people that made it told me they made it and it came out perfect. A few people said they made it and they it either was too hard or it didn't set. And like we said before, it's all going to depend on the temperature of your microwave. If your microwave is a, a lower voltage or watt, you got to go a little. You got to let it go a little bit longer. But when you take your candy and you stir it and it come off kind of almost like it's setting like a crust, almost like that candy. Y'all know how candy do when it's set. Then you know it's done. But it won't take, it's not going to take long, you know, 14, 15 minutes, even if you have a lower watt microwave, but then you're going to burn it. And if you burn your candy, you might as well throw it out and start over. I like to use bowls like this because it's easier to clean as long as it's a microwave safe bowl. There we go. This one gonna have to sit, but these here are already done set. I'm gonna let John taste a piece of this because it don't have pecans in it. Because he don't eat pecans. Pecans. Alright, sir. I need you to take a piece of my candy. Well, just a piece. Don't tell me you don't want it. I'll be tasting your food. Don't do that on camera. More we'll effort. up. I'm on my nine to five. How are you working? I'm on it too, just a piece. I've been working in the last stop for you. Yeah, go ahead. Just place a piece. You can bite a piece. Just break off a piece. Just break off one. It ain't hard. That came the soft as I don't know what. And it's not super sweet. It's good. That'll make you do the Holy Ghost. One thing yeah. my grandma and mama taught me was how to make some popcorn candy. Ooh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna let mama taste. Bye. Bye. Why well, finna bring her? That one don't have pecan. That just came off the bowl. Mm. And like I said, y'all, it's soft. It's not mushy soft. It's just soft. And creamy. And that's how you want your pecan candy to be. Pralines, pecan candy, pecan candy, whatever you want to call it. Mama, I'm gonna read on mine. Cause she's gonna have what I'm gonna make some. And it's creamy. The butter, vanilla, the cream. But like I say, it's not super sweet. If you want it sweet, you can add a little more brown sugar and a little less white sugar. But that's the thing, the white sugar doesn't make it super sweet. The brown sugar gives it that hint of nuttiness. And you can do all brown sugar, because I have done all brown sugar. But when I do all brown sugar, even if I'm making 
a double batch, I only use two cups. If I'm making a regular batch, I only use one cup. But if I'm doing white, you'll do what we said we said in the video. But y'all, it's good. So I'm telling y'all, if y'all want, y'all can actually y'all can even look on my channel. Just pull up Alicia Mississippi Southern Coops of Corn Candy. I got three different ways of making it. The long method, which takes you about an hour and a half on the stove because you got to constantly stir. The one with heavy cream. The heavy cream that takes 30 minutes on the stove. Or the 12-minute microwave method with condensed cream. Sweet and condensed cream. So you got three different ways of making it. And then on Jordan's channel, I did the microwave method for him. And his, his video did amazing. His video did better than mine on my channel. I said, boy, look at him. But I'm glad. I ain't no hate. I'm glad. So now, we're going to put our cheese in here. I done put my candy up. Y'all know we like them in squares. The best part of eating it, you see these little pieces right here? Get them. But it's good. Jordan don't. I told you, he don't eat pecans like that. Because he said he ate so many growing up in Georgia. But... He ate it and he loved it. So my first batch, well these two batches, but my first two batches are down and they creamy. They not like all fudgy. Like it's not it's kind of like a fudge taste, but it's creamy herb with the nuttiness of the pecan. But they're good, y'all. It's super good. Deontay already done had three. But they keep playing with me. I'm gonna put them in the room. <laughs> so Cause this top you couldn't even close this top before. Yeah, I had two. John had two. I gave my meat some, and these my little crumbs. I'm eating with the rest of my bugles, and I'm about to eat my chicken. So now I'm gonna let y'all go.